The Agility Ladder is a tool for athletes young and old to improve their body control, foot coordination, and foot speed. This video is going to show you the drills to improve those things as well as show how the ladder applies to your game. Part of having good footwork for any sport that you do is being able to control your whole body. When receivers are making catches along the sideline, getting their feet inbounds, it's not just their feet doing the work. Their upper body and core plays a huge role in putting you where you need to be on the field in tandem with using your feet. So when you're using the agility ladder, the first thing you need to make sure of is that your upper body and core is engaged, meaning that everything from the waist up is controlled and not flailing around. When doing a drill like two foot high knees going forward, as well as from the side, it takes body control to not be leaning forward too much, which forces you to go too fast for the drill. Doing two foot high knees going forward is all about getting your knees up explosively and getting two feet in each hole every time. More great drills for body control are single leg ladder drills. Balancing on one foot takes hip, ankle, and knee stability, but it also requires upper body control. When you see a gymnast on a balance beam, do they tilt themselves side to side or are they standing perfectly upright when they land on the beam? Doing single leg work is a full body workout and your core has to be stable as well as your shoulders needing to be level. Your footwork is just half the battle. The reason soccer players can make incredible juke moves while dribbling the ball with their feet and NFL running backs can make defenders miss in the open field, or if NBA stars can use their Euro step to slide between seven foot big men in the paint, is that they have the ability to put their feet wherever they choose. It sounds like a simple concept to be able to put your feet wherever you want to, but in the heat of a fast paced game, it's harder than it sounds. Wide receivers have to practice heavily on their footwork to get past cornerbacks that press them off the line, and James Harden's double step back took some practice as well. Coordination with your feet comes from practice, practice, practice. Here are some of the key drills that you need to do to coordinate your feet. We'll start with Icky Shuffle, and this one is one of my favorites, and in my opinion, the most important ladder drill. Step in with two, step out with one. This gets you used to cutting off of your outside foot. It'll also hone your ability to change directions at a rapid pace. The Icky Shuffle is a favorite for the young athletes I train, as well as for me. Hopscotch, this one doesn't just belong in the playground. Hopscotch is a great drill for beginners, especially if you're just starting out trying to be light on your feet. This along with scissors are good, easier ladder drills to start with to get you in the rhythm of moving your feet. You can't have foot speed without having coordination first. Once you have achieved coordination, being able to put your feet where you want them to go, now you can pick up the pace. In coaching, I have this saying, first you do it right, then you do it fast. So take for example the icky shuffle. You're not going to just jump right in and do it a million miles per hour. It takes plenty of reps to get to an optimum speed while performing it. You pick up speed as you go. And a drill like the Icky Shuffle gets to be really good off the line if you're a receiver or an open field as a running back. And having quick feet with it just adds to your dangerousness on the field. Another drill that can develop your foot speed is two in, two out from the side. On this drill, you're stepping with your inside foot first, keeping your body steady as you rapidly move in and out of the boxes. Here you want to keep your hips in line with your feet at all times so your momentum is able to be controlled. This is a huge drill that helps defensive backs that move forward and backward at rapid paces. The last drill I'll show for foot speed in this video is the one foot side step in. Another great one for receivers. You're working on a quick jab step while chopping your feet. This drill activates your fast twitch muscle fiber fibers in your calves and knees, which will increase your capacity for speedy feet. Notice how I hit every single box with my inside foot as I rhythmically chop with the other. Again, this is body control, foot coordination, and foot speed put together. In conclusion, guys, the ladder is much more than just a tool to improve your footwork. It gets you light on your feet, develops proper athletic posture, and it conditions you for the field. So remember to like this video and subscribe for more athletic training videos. And don't forget, to get better today.